Crawfish and chicken coming together in today's cookhouse. Here's a delicious casserole for you. Bonjour, bonjour. Comme les affaires, aujourd'hui avec cuir du volaille avec les écrevisses. Welcome to our cooking segment for today. Today we're going to do a chicken crawfish kind of casserole that includes broccoli. And don't worry, even if you don't like broccoli, you're going to love this dish. As I said, it includes chicken and crawfish. That brings us to our Cajun word for the day, chicken du volaille. By the way, this particular recipe is on page 38 of our Lanyap cookbook, if you'd like to follow along. We're going to start off by browning about four slices of bacon. And we remove our bacon, and in our drippings, we're going to brown two chicken breasts. Remove our chicken breasts, and we're going to saute one pound of crawfish tails for a couple of minutes, and then remove that. And to our bacon drippings, we're going to add two tablespoons of butter, I'm going to saute one onion, a half bell pepper, a teaspoon of garlic, and a rib of celery for about three minutes. We we'll add one more tablespoon of butter, four tablespoons of flour. Let that simmer for three minutes. And we add two cups of chicken stock. Let all that simmer for another ten minutes. Next up, we add one cup of whipping cream, a couple of dashes of hot sauce, one tablespoon of lemon juice, four tablespoons of white wine, a couple of pinches of thyme, our green onion. We've got three tablespoons of green onion, two tablespoons of parsley, and we're going to season it with red pepper and black pepper to taste. We're also going to add one cup of fresh chopped mushrooms and let all that simmer for a couple of minutes. Then to that mixture, we reintroduce our chicken, which we've cut into thin slices, and our crawfish tails. Stir that up good and remove it from the fire. Now we're going to make up our casserole. Put our one bunch of broccoli boiled flowerettes on the bottom. Spoon about one half of our mixture onto that. Our chicken crawfish mixture, about half of it going over our broccoli flowerettes. And then we top off that with one fourth a cup of provolone cheese and our crumbled bacon. Now we add the remainder of our chicken crawfish mixture. Top it off with one fourth a cup of provolone and one fourth a cup of Parmesan cheese and bake it 350 degrees for about 10 to 15 minutes. And there it is, our chicken crawfish broccoli casserole. Brings us back to our Cajun word for the day, chicken du volaille. Yeah. So say, on the good time. To the old taste if I want it. Mmm! Mmm! Call that on me, Miss Ossie Bond.